I'm Beth, and I do onboarding and processing in recruitment. So the recruiters send over applicants that are ready to move forward, and I'm the one who sends them the proper paperwork, walks them through the process, and tracks the process for them, and then gets them connected with their terminal and their equipment. And I remember being in the backyard with my grandpa and I was just his shadow. I would not leave him alone. I was He was my best friend. So I would say my first best friend was my grandma and grandpa. And then there was a little girl next door to us who was playing in the backyard. And he was this really big, larger than life man. He was like, hey, little girl, come here. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> I was standing by him. And she came up and, and he asked her name and her name was Becca. And he goes, this is Beth, you guys play. And we became best friends. And to this day, I'm, I'm in contact with Becca. So I've kept in touch. We don't see each other a lot, but we've maintained contact. But my grandpa introduced me to my best, my first very best friend. And in hindsight, I realized I think he was just trying to get some a break because I would not leave him alone. So he's like, here, take her, take her. So at the time, I just was like, oh, he wanted me to have a friend. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure he needed a rest. But so that was my first friend, Becca. You know, if I'm lonely, I call people. Like, I'll call a lot of people, but I call a certain, you know, core group of people that um, are, you know, more my unconditional kind, you know, they put up with the bad and the good and have been there through me, through the bad and the good with me, pandemic or not. Definitely make calls. I, I know that when drivers call me or the recruiters, you can tell that sometimes they're just, need someone to talk to. And we're more, we're more than happy to do it. That's not just our job, it's our personalities. I would set t a certain time aside, you know, make sure you check in with a certain person, whoever, who you choose is someone that like brings you up. Like don't talk to, you know, reach out to the people that actually answer the phone. Reach out to the people that actually make you feel better about where you're at in your life, who you are and what you're doing. I think a lot of people, what, they tend to self-isolate and then kind of feel like they don't know how to get out of it. They get in a routine of not talking to people, not reaching out. And I think when you find yourself starting to do that is when you need to start calling people, texting people, again, not while you're driving, um, and reaching out to the positive people in your lives, whether it's a family friend, a family member, a girl at Meadowlark, you know, um, someone in your religious community, what have you. I mean, there's so many resources out there and so many people out there that will answer the phone. I just know from friends, family, and myself, when you get to a point where you're struggling and whether it's situational or it's clinical, um, you know, it's long-term, if you, when you start isolating to the point where you don't want to talk to people, that's kind of the sign that you need to talk to someone. And that's kind of your rule of thumb. I've been there. I have a family member right now who's there. I've had friends who are there. I go to people I know who will take me seriously, not, not come from a judging viewpoint, and will encourage me to better myself and encourage me to get better. And I also, I have to throw this out there, I don't, you don't have to put it on there. If you think you need to get help, seek mental health help, period. I mean, I'm a huge advocate and have been for years and have participated in mental health assistance for years. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I think some people need to get that permission. And I think it can be life-changing, it was for me. I'm Beth, and I just wanted to remind you that Metal Arc is your friend. We're always here for you to support you in all ways that we can. And we just want you to be happy and healthy and live a fulfilling life.